Hey everybody, it's Greg, and it's a Saturday edition of Unbreakable Podcast. Look who I have with me. The diva herself, Katie Girl. Katie, because she has graced us with her presence today. Uh-huh. But you know what? And in order to get her on the podcast anymore, I have to blind her. So here's a little treat for my Katie Girl. Uh-huh. What about on the floor here? You I can't see him, but trust me, he's always for it. If there's food around, Bud's here. Hey, little one, say hi to everybody. Look how pretty she does. Look how cute she is. Ah, well, Katie girl. So today happens to be Saturday, February 17th. I'm glad we're almost getting through February here. Got a little bit of snow here in Pennsylvania tonight. Ah, it's like you have some flurries, you know. No, no big deal. No big deal. We can handle that, right, Katie girl? But, uh, uh, so, right, honey? Yeah, 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 yeah. Today happens to be cabbage day. You, you heard me right. It's cabbage day. And, uh, I'm not a big fan. But you know what? There's a lot of cabbage. You know, I am, uh, I think I told you, uh, Slovak, Polish, and Canadian. I, yeah, come on, you know, I, there you go. Very, 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 very top of the way. What a good boy. Um, so, and you see how cabbage you get. You know, uh, Phil Cabbage, you might know it as Pigs in a Blanket, you know, Brian and Rice wrapped up in cabbage. Now, um, in, in, in Polish, in Slovak uh, tradition, it's called the Hamukti. And my mom was making it. Mr. John in Christmas. You see, all the worst of them are in Christian of them. Half of them want to talk to each other, you know, for the poor worst of them, the people all make them wrap the cabbage up and they get, they get similar in the oven, but it's also good. And she will put the tomato paste on the top and tomato juice and just made it very well good. It smelled great. Oh. But, uh, you know, uh, we try not to give uh, Bud too much of that because he's all gassy as it is. There you go. There we go. Head for my Bud stuff. Um, but, you know, now, uh, we, I can't say I don't like cabbage because it's, it's so much of a, a, a growing up in the Polish Slovak diet, you know, like uh, you know, I'll have sauerkraut on the hot dog if I have a ball game. Uh, not much, I don't must do, but uh, a little bit of sauerkraut on the physical basis, and it's not bad. Now, there's another Polish Slovak dish called Hamushki. Hamushki. Not Hamukki, Hamushki. And that is the noodles and cabbage. And it sounds kind of worse, but it's actually pretty good. And we used to have that one. During Lent, which we are on uh, uh, Fridays, uh, or pizza, right? In lieu of meat, because now it's a sin. Why, why? Oh, I gave the wrong one there with Jesus. I know. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, take this one. Take that one. That's better for you. I forgot you have a little nap there. Uh, Anushki is a it, it is good. It's good. It sounds gross, but it's good. There you go. And you know, uh, uh, the local churches, especially this time of the year, that Lent, Easter time, uh, if you look at the, the newspaper, well, I don't have such things as newspapers. Well, when I was a kid, we looked in, yeah, in the people, and uh, like the Greek Orthodox churches and the different, different Slovak churches in there, they would make no cabbage and mushroom all the time around this time of year. You just had to, had to catch it, you know, and it be more good. But I tell you what, nothing in my bottoms and mom and great ethnic food that it you know, it's a water just part of it. Is like, wow. You're so right, buddy? Yeah, we do. Uh, you know what else is today? Random act of kindness. And uh, it's, uh, you know, you don't need a debt. 
to be kind to the children, you know? Uh, kindness matters. And uh, wouldn't it be a better world of we live in if everyone was just kind to the children, you know? Wouldn't it be great? But uh, read the maps, you know? Uh, I try to do as much as I can, you know? And I know, I know you guys do it too. I tell you what, have you ever been to a Wawa? You know, here's where you, uh, where I live. Wawa is a big convenience store. It used to be 7 Eleven, which we still have some 7 Eleven. Now I was much there. Wawa is down. And take you know, the other part of the state, the western part of the state, is uh, sheets. Sheets are sheets. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know really. it. But I <laughs> mean, but wow, wow. He had bracketed, we have to give them a little look, random act of kindness, you know. If you ever go to a wall, if you notice, people will throw in the door. Like the wow is like a revolving, they ought to put revolving doors in that door. Because there's always people coming in, and it's not only that. Especially in the mornings, people go and get coffee, the newspaper, the hoagies, the sweat pretzels, whatever it is, right? So, uh, it's, if you ever notice when you go to a people hold to do it in churches. It's, it's going so fast. There's our bud, bud. He's our budster, a good friend. Uh, they hold the door. So, if someone's flying out, someone's coming in. And they hold the door for them. That's nice. You know, it's like back in the old times. And people were actually nice to each other. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's the way it should be, right? You know, kindness, you know. Uh, I just uh, said uh, not too long ago, showing you drive here. Uh, uh, I think it was Duncan or something, which some hate for me. Walking for the one style and all. And it's just, you do stuff like that, right? Um, but you know, the one that uh, I don't like the two part of the morning, of course, but the one I've written and I've come to the life that I'll do. I don't know if you thought of it like because I thought of it, but I didn't think about it long because I knew it was the right thing to do. I, I think I told you, I had a uh, one of my residents at the nursing home, so it was Jim. I never forget. He was a nice guy. He used to talk baseball all the time. And he remembered the Philadelphia A's. And I was I used to tell him a lot of poor stories. And uh, back in the day, back in the 90s, this is how I remember uh, We love that Philly's team of community. Right? Especially uh, Jim Eisenman. We love him. Was a player, right field, good player, solid player. He was playing, he had Tourette's surgery. Yes, he was taking the house to control it. And it was a really hard nosed, hard working, large club kind of thing. Really, really solid player. Uh, Jim just loved that guy. He said he was an old school guy. It was a guy who you could picture going through the field of the boots. So, uh, I just started being a nice then. So I wrote to the Phillies as his social and I told him how big fanning was with the guys in there. And where I was my family back and said I needed my picture. And then uh, put it right on his wall, in his room. And after Jim passed away, his daughter said, so, Oh, we love my picture. I got him in the chair. But you know, just a little extra. Extra, it's a good extra long, you know, it's a little, little extra kindness make, can make a big difference in somebody's life. They want to care. So, I guess that's about all we have today. Now, next week, we're going to start talking a little bit more baseball, very poetry, uh, because spring training will be kicking you in bed. Okay, okay. We can't wait to get the heck out. And you see him, he wants out of here. Honestly, I have enough of this shit. I gotta get out of here. I can't stand this show anymore. Oh my god. Especially with that baby riding back there. Next week, we're gonna talk 
Although with baseball, it's a good trade, it starts to uh, gear up a little bit and talk about our feelings. But I think the chances are going to be We're also going to talk about the other teams in, 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 in baseball, who I think is going to win the divisions this year, get to the World Series, and win the World Series. So uh, that should be fun. That should be fun. And, you know, next week we have our usual stuff. Don't forget, Wednesday is our classic TV episode. We've been doing it like six weeks now. It's really a lot of fun. In fact, I already got the show picked out for next week. You're going to love the show you picked it. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to bring down so many memories of the things that you're going to want to tune in, especially on Wednesday. Um, well, everybody, you got to say goodbye to all the trouble. Have a nice weekend. Won't be here Sunday for the new vibes. So, right, can we go? So, uh, thank you, Katie. Thank you. We bow down to you. Uh, thank you for joining us. You know, what a diva you are. And some full teeth to get me to pull the show. Yep. Buddy's here. Buddy's there. Buddy's there. He loves the world. So, Katie, I think I'm going to have to start paying you. Because, in fact, she already told him, Daddy. You can't walk in and dance yet. You're going to have to stop paying me. And so I will. I don't know how much she's going to charge me, but uh, maybe a doggy biscuits. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to have to start paying this little girl. Thank you, Katie. Thank you for your guest appearance. She said, oh, I didn't pay me though. And uh, the people will be very happy to see. But is under my wheelchair, so whatever the hell needs it. These guys, bye bye, everybody. I gotta get out of here. Everybody have a great weekend. And I'll see you again on Monday on Unbreakable the podcast. Walter, you all come back now. You know? Let Kitty say, say goodbye to him. Say goodbye to him. Don't step side off of it. Get it done. All right. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. I just can't sign off. It never lets me sign off very easy. It lets me stand, you know that? No, for God's sake.